What is your name, dear? Jessica. Jessica, have we ever met before? No. Jessica, do you think I could read your mind? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to read your mind, Jessica. But first of all, deep asleep, just rest and relax, Jessica. Just relax, deep. He says, Jessica, I'd like you to tell me in a nice, loud, clear voice the first name of your mother, your mother's first name. Joanne. And Jessica, tell me in a nice, loud, clear voice the first two numbers of your telephone number. Six, nine. Jessica, wide awake. Hi, Jessica, do you think I could read your mind? I don't know. Let me try. Think of your mother's name, uh, Joanne, right? That's easy. It came to be just like that. And think of the first two numbers of your phone number. Easy, six, nine, right? Yep. That's pretty good. Let's try something more complicated. Jessica, you're going to ask me a question. I'm going to get you to ask me a question that I couldn't possibly know the answer to. Something about your life, maybe some of your pets, what kinds they are, what their names are, or some of the people in your family perhaps, or what kind of car you drive. The question is up to you. Make it something I couldn't possibly know the answer to. Don't make it yes or no question. You go ahead and ask Jessica, and I'll try and figure it out. Got a question to figure it out? Uh, what's my dog's name? Tell you what, Jessica, think of your dog's name. Think about nothing else other than your dog's name, and Jessica, deep asleep, just rest. <laughs> Jessica, I'd like you to tell me in a nice, loud, clear voice your dog's name. Pippin. One more time. Pippin. And Jessica, what kind of dog do you have? Uh, Border Collie. Jessica, why don't we ask me a question I couldn't possibly know? Uh, my dog's name. Pippin, right? Do you like the Border Collie? <laughs> yeah. Give her a big hand. She